Here we'll cover, ITUT standard of, single mode fiber types. What is, non-dispersion shifted fiber, and types of non-dispersion shifted fiber. Single mode fiber, has small core around 8 to 10 micrometer, so light can travel in single mode. Due to that it's suitable for, long haul transmission. Single mode fiber have several types defined in standards. First is, non-dispersion shifted fiber, defined in ITUTG.652. Dispersion shifted fiber, defined in G.653. Cut off shifted fiber, defined in G.654. Non-zero dispersion shifted fiber, defined in G.655. Medium dispersion fiber, defined in G.656. Bending loss in sensitive fiber, defined in G.657. Here we cover non-dispersion shifted fiber. It's called as, NDSF. NDSF was the first successful single mode fiber, and is the most widely deployed fiber type. It is designed for, networks operating in the 1310 nanometer region. And has a zero dispersion point, around 1310 nanometer. Let's take a look on below graph. Here we have wavelengths in nanometer, and dispersion in picosecond. As you can see, NDSF have zero dispersion point around 1310. Also if you look, it exhibits high values of dispersion in the 1550 nanometer region, around 17 picosecond. The first edition of this fiber, was standardized in 1984, and now it has four subcategories, A, B, C, and D. All have, same core size of, 8 to 10 micrometer. Today's, A, and B categories, are less used, and C, and D are commonly used. The reason behind it, A and B, have water peak, and C and D, eliminate the water peak. You may confused, what is water peak in fiber? Actually, fiber is not purely dry. During the manufacturing process, or as environmental humidity, there are some water, present in form ions, at 1383 nanometer. To understand the impact, look on below graph, have wavelength, and attenuation. As you can see at, 1383 nanometer, due to water peak, attenuation value increased. That's the reason, A and B, are less used, and C and D, improved to eliminate the water peak. G.652 a fiber, having 0.5 dB attenuation, at 1310 nanometer with 0.5 picosecond PMD, that is polarization mode dispersion. With above characteristics, 1 gigabyte signal can travel 400 kilometers. 10 gigabyte signal can travel 40 kilometers. And 40 gigabytes signal only 2 kilometers. In dot B fiber, have improved attenuation, 0 0.4 dB at 1310 nanometer, and PMD improved to 0 0.2 picosecond, with that, 10 gigabytes signal can travel 3000 kilometers. 40 gigabytes signal can travel 80. In dot C fiber, having improvement towards, water peak, rest attribute and application, Range are similar to A category fiber, having lower attenuation at 1550 nanometer. This fiber used for the extended and short band in the range of 1360 to 1530 nanometer. In dot D fiber, having more improvement with PMD 0.2 picosecond, including water peak elimination. It's integrated the advantages of B and C fiber, 
as now C fiber, is similar to A. So can say D category, almost covers all categories A, B, and C. Nowadays, when talking about G.652 fiber, most of the time it means, D category. Again, this fiber also operate in the, 1550 nanometer band. But having high dispersion of around, 17 picosecond. By incorporating dispersion, also operate at 1550 nanometer.